Okay, I'm not sure how good you can see this through the camera, but I'm just gonna plan out my day. I have planning Liam's birthday. I have to go get chicken food, make meals for Jade, and he came home this weekend, so I'm gonna send him back with a bunch of meals. Also, I need to plan out the week for dinners, so I have my Cook Once Eat All Week cookbook here. And then today I'm gonna schedule what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say from nine, to 10 it's hard to do because of the angle of the camera but maybe I can turn you this way I'm going to do the dishes and then pick up the kitchen so basically clean the counters do the floor and then 10 to 11 I've been focusing on doing laundry during that time slot so during that I will do the laundry. I will fold any laundry that needs to be folded and put away. And I'm finding that now that I've been doing this a couple days, I'm falling in the routine of doing that. In between here, 11 and 12, I'm gonna get a shower, and get cleaned up, and then I'm gonna go out. I have to go to the store, get stuff for dinner this week, get stuff for Jaden. And also I need to get containers up till now, I've just been doing pretty much pierogies over the holidays, and I've been swamped with those. I have some soups and stuff that people can order. I have it that they have to place their order by Sunday or Monday so that I can get everything ready and plan to meet up with them Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday to pick up their meals and food. This allows me time to go shop and prepare it and schedule to meet up with them. I'll say 12 to 3, I'll do my running. Shopping. And then if I end up with extra time, then I can just come home and nap. All right, so we have that. I'm gonna see what I wanna make this week. I kinda jump all over the book. I know that I have some ground beef in the freezer. Let me look in the front and see. On here, it gives you all the weeks, and then it'll give you your main meat choice so i'm gonna look i have ground beef let's check that one out week 15 198 because i know that i have spinach in there that i didn't use from last week i had planned on doing a whole video of prepping for the week but the week just got away from me so that didn't happen so the bonus dinner is seared chicken brussels sprouts and roasted butternut squash and then a crispy curry chicken, roast broccoli, and basic white rice. Bolognese casserole, which basically is just like a meat sauce. And then you serve it over the spaghetti squash. And then we have Mediterranean skillet, which is ground beef, spinach, tomatoes, artichokes, onion, garlic, and then some spices and then you garnish with olives feta cheese and parsley and then spinach pesto spaghetti squash boats little meatballs and then serving it in the spaghetti squash bean is what i'm going with now i'm just going to write down what ingredients i need to get to make this and see what i have in the fridge and what i still need This is going to be produce, dairy. Okay, for sure I know I need eggs. We are completely out. Our chickens are molting, so we have no eggs. I actually had to borrow eggs from my neighbor the other day so Mason could do his cookie video. Okay, produce. We are going to need Brussels sprouts. The ones at Aldi are really good. You can actually just cook them right in the bag. I'm gonna get some chicken. And then butternut squash. I love roasted butternut squash, it is so good. Okay, and then that's it for that dinner. And then broccoli we're gonna need. And also on my menu for the restaurant this week, I am doing a buffalo chicken 
I need hot sauce. Buffalo chicken meatballs with blue cheese dressing, uh, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. And then I'm also doing penne rosa, and I think that comes with broccoli. And I'm doing a French dip sandwiches with a side of coleslaw. So I need coleslaw mix. I know we need mayo. I'm gonna have to pick up more rice. Parsley, which I typically buy anyway because I like to have that on hand. Artichoke hearts. I'm just gonna get a jar of those. Feta cheese, I know we need. What I really like about this cookbook is it has you try recipes that otherwise you might not try. Okay, we're gonna need some blue cheese. Sour cream and cheese. Potatoes, how could I almost forget those? Potatoes, butter. Oh, I need kosher salt. Okay, I think that's good. Um, as far as a cake for Liam, I need to ask him what he wanted. He said something yummy. I don't know, so I'm gonna see what he wants and go from there. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get started. The dishwasher is empty. I'm just gonna reload it, wipe up the counters and get moving on that. It is 9.17, so while I'm finishing up the dishes, I'm gonna start the robot vacuum so that it can do the kitchen and then I'll come through with the crosswave. Yes, the crosswave does vacuum and mop at the same time, but this gets around the edges really good. So I'm just gonna push the button on. It'll do its thing. This thing is a lifesaver. All right guys, the vacuum's a little bit loud, but hopefully you can hear me. I get these little scrubbies from the restaurant store. You can get them from any store, but I cut them into smaller pieces because I don't need a big sponge like that. So I cut this into six. So not only am I getting more, I'm saving money by doing this. All right, let's get started on the dishes. I'm sure you don't really want to watch me wash all these dishes, so I'll be back. So anything stuck on, I just use a razor blade to get it off. And then I have a spray bottle and I use the Mrs. Meyers lemon cleaner. I love it. Dishes are done. I'm gonna let them air dry for a little bit. I forgot that I wanted to get the kids haircut today and we use a local mom who has a barber shop and she's only there certain hours and certain days. She closes at 12 today. So I'm gonna gather up the three kids and let them know that we're going down. So we will probably go down around 10.30 or so. It's 9.55 now. I'm almost on the kitchen. I'm a little bit behind because I lost like 17 minutes talking to you guys earlier. So I'm not doing too bad. In here that's up next to fold your kitchen towels. That ladder's going to go back outside. I have my cross wave. I'm going to do the floor. I'm going to just finish cleaning the island off real quick and then we can do that.
that helps condition the wood. I just like to use my hand to rub it around and then I'll come back with a clean cloth to wipe off any excess. I'm gonna let this soak in. from Walmart, it's the Equate brand. All right, so I'm just gonna go wipe this down to get off any extra oil that was not absorbed. There you have it, look how pretty it looks. It's so shiny and it's ready to be used. Okay, in case you noticed, there's some knobs missing here. I bought some new knobs for there. I just have not put them in yet because I want to scrub all these cabinets down really good before I do. And I have to finish taking them off the other cabinets. So that's why that's not done yet. Life. Messy, we're going to do the floors. I have to clean that trim behind me. Someone bumped the tart warmer and wax went everywhere. Right, the kitchen is done. I need to put curtains back up there. I took them down to wash them, so I have to put them back up. In case you're wondering, I do not leave knobs on our stove. Years ago, one of our old dogs jumped up and turned a burner on, so now I'm always afraid of that. I've never liked having stuff on the counter. I like to keep it very clean because, like say water comes out from the sink, then you gotta wash whatever's by the sink. So I like to just keep everything just very minimal on the counters. And then, of course, the island. And it is my goal to do, to get these cabinets done soon. We are off to get haircuts. We go to a local mom in town who has a barber shop. I love supporting small businesses. And you still got long hair? Well, that feels nice. Mike? Nice My and only soft. question is, how long of a beard will I have when I grow up? Because we already know I'll have messy hair, and I know my hair went like down to here. When... Yeah, it's just going to grow into your beard. <laughs> okay, now we got this stud. I popped into Michael's to look for a new planner and I found some decor that the colors were amazing and I really fell in love with. As much as I wanted to get one of everything, I was a good girl and didn't buy anything. I really went in there hoping to buy a planner, but they didn't really have anything that I liked. I have the Corey Clark one currently and I like that it has the time schedule for each day where I can do the time block, but the ones I was finding did not have this, so I skipped over them. I left Michael's with nothing. Next, I headed to Walmart. I needed to get a one in a six candle for Liam's birthday, but I feel like someone's messing with me. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to the next video. Have a great day.